Hello traders, as you know, November series uh, has expired today. Now you must be planning to initiate new trades in the next contract. So you must be trying to refine stocks and you are trying to identify stocks which can give you good momentums, right? So this video is for you. Today we're going to learn about how you can identify such stocks with the help of Quantsap. We can see multiple data points and we are going to identify stocks and we can try to create strategies with it and let's just see that how it works out. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe our channel and if you, are, if you haven't signed up Quantsap as of yet, I'll put up the link in the description. Sign up to Quantsap and you'll unlock 20 plus free tools which will help you in your options trading. Okay, now you want to know what is Quantsap or how does Quantsap works. So you can go here in the learn section and you can go in the video library and you can see there are multiple videos which can help you identify how particularly you can use Quantsap and how you can particularly use Quantsap tools to help you in your option trading. Now, if you want to know more about Quantsap, you can come here in the support section, you can mail us or you can WhatsApp us and we'll try to help you out with your doubts and queries. Okay, so now we'll jump on to the topic and we'll understand how you can identify the stocks and what kind of a trade you can initiate in these stocks. Our topic today is rollover. Okay, so the particular tool which we are going to use from Quantsap is rollover and rollover data helps you to analyze that how many future contracts which were in the November series or in the previous series and how many people are rolling to the next particular month. So what is this rollover? Basically uh, in the futures you are having an option that basically let's just suppose you want to continue the trade which you initiated in November month. So you can pay a little cost and you can continue your trade in the next month. So let's just suppose you initiated a trade in November and you want to continue in December so you will pay a little cost. The cost is identified there in the tool and with that you can basically roll over to the next month. Now how does this help you identify these stocks is because let's just suppose a stock is there XYZ okay now in XYZ we are seeing almost around 95% rollover okay similarly we are having a stock ABC which is having a 50% rollover now if you are thinking that basically in XYZ you are seeing 95% of a rollover that means the trend which you were seeing in the previous month, the trend is generally tending to continue in the next month. So the traders or the market participants are so sure with the particular trend is that they are holding their trade or they are rolling it to the next month because they think that from here in the next month also we're going to see the momentum. So that is how you can catch these stocks which are having the most rollover and you can do it at the expiry only. Now, how do we confirm that what kind of a trade are we going to initiate? Are we going to initiate a bullish, tra bullish trade or a bearish trade? Because see now only the stock is identified. We don't know what kind of a trend it is going with. So what you can do is you can check out the last seven days of the data. Okay, so you can see the last seven days trend. So what first we are seeing is the rollover. Okay. Second thing what you need to see is last seven days trend and last what you need to do is you can initiate a trade but as we are going monthly so you need to initiate a strategy okay so these kind of a trade you need to initiate a strategy because you are uh, making a particular goal for a longer term okay so if you are even if you are going for a let's just say 10 days or 15 days to avoid risking your whole capital you should go with the strategies now let's jump on to Quantsap and uh, let's just see how the rollover data uh, how we can analyze it and how we can use it in our benefit so you can come here in the analyze and you can see in the expiry option you can see the rollover okay so this is the interface here. Okay, so you can see uh, the list of the stocks is there. Okay, Nifty is also there. So you can like basically Nifty will always be shown in the top. 
now with that you are seeing the rollover cost okay so there is rupees 231 uh, rupees which you need to pay as a rollover cost in uh, nifty now the change in the roll cost we are seeing here and with that you can see here that how many rollovers we are seeing or how much of a percentage of a rollover we are seeing in the particular given stock so you can sort it out with the top rollovers and you can see which of the stocks are showing you this kind of a particular trend and let's just suppose you can take the top three ones so top three we are seeing PEL is there Pyramid Enterprise then we are seeing Granules and we are seeing IDFC first so we are seeing these three particular stocks people are people are almost rolling almost 92 to 94 percent of a particular rollover we are seeing in the particular stock so you know the market participants if they are sure with the trend you can also go and particularly initiate the trade in the same but as i said you need to see the last seven days trend of the particular stock and you need to identify of which kind of a strategy you are going to initiate so let us just jump on to the chart we'll just see pel first so you can directly jump from here and okay so i'll just change it to day chart okay it's already in the day chart okay so here you can see that let's just talk about last seven days okay so one two three four five six seven so this was the time last seven days back we can see the price was somewhere here okay just a second yeah so you can see the price was here and as you can see there was a uptrend in the particular stock and uh, if uh, just for your information this particular stock is in its 52 week high so now the uptrend now you can see the uptrend is continuing okay and we are seeing day chart we are seeing good action and as you can see we can see good volume also so volume and the trend is confirming you that somewhere you can go for an uptrend and the strategy here what you need to initiate is a bullish strategy okay now with that let us check granules now okay so granules is having a little less uh, volume okay so, but as you can see still it is showing you a similar uptrend performance okay so one two three four five six seven so this is the day uh, last seven days back the maximum lowest price we've seen here okay or the action was here and as you can see from here as you can see it is going on the upward side we are seeing a minor retracement obviously uh, whenever near the whenever you are near the expiry generally you see uh, the profit booking by the you know november series uh, contract holders so generally the price tend to go down but as you can see uh, we are seeing a good hammer and we are seeing the price is retracing so somewhere here also uh, this this is looking like you know you can initiate a trade uh, strategy in a bullish side okay so as you can see i've put up idfc first banks one day chart and somewhere you can see it is in an oscillating trend okay so uh, on a major basis we are seeing it is in a downtrend but the given last seven days if we talk about okay so one two three four five okay from here as you can see this was the last seven days and as you can see the prices marginally uh, very near to each other so somewhere uh, we can't confirm the trend here so this way uh, to get if you are getting such kind of a stocks it can be a little controversial so what you can do is you can avoid such trades if you are having a clear trend identification then only go forward with your particular trade setup now next thing is as i said that you know you can initiate strategies so what kind of strategies will you initiate okay so generally what you can do is sorry generally what you can do is in this strategy you can go with a simple bull call spread okay or bear put spread okay 
why bull call spread and bear put spread only is because see generally in the starting of the month uh, the particular premiums what you can initiate a trade you can go for a uh, you know debit strategy because somewhere you can gain uh, benefits out of it in a monthly basis so if you are having a specific target and a specific stop loss you can go for these kind of strategies because you are knowing your risk okay so it's not like you're gonna lose uh, any uh, much of your capital you are identifying your maximum loss you are identifying your maximum profit so this is a very good strategy you can uh, go with this strategy so that your loss is defined and uh, you know like your capital won't get wiped out so this is the strategy you can go for okay generally you can come here at the trading and you can go in the options architect and you can create the strategy here okay simply you can see here you can see bull call spread okay so let's just suppose let's just suppose PEL in the expiry and we'll initiate a bull call spread okay so simply as you can see here that your loss is defined okay so if you are even holding it for the whole month your loss is defined that you know basically this is the break even level okay sorry uh, I'll just change the script again right sorry okay so what you can see here is that basically you can identify and if you are holding it for the whole month you know you are having your you can identify that you are your maximum profit is 7000 and uh, 7800 and your maximum loss is also 7000 so it's almost like a one is to one risk to reward generally what you can do is you can adjust it a little bit okay so you can uh, do uh, you can sell a little higher so generally what you can do is your uh, your risk is also increasing but somewhere your profits are also increasing so depending upon your risk appetite you can just change the strikes up and down and you can create a good strategy for yourself and you can hold it for the monthly basis now let's just suppose you are having a specific target or you need to identify the target so simply you can come here at track and you can go in the open interest and you just you can identify the one where you are seeing good call open interest no so, so firstly we are seeing a 1200 uh, resistance but as we are seeing the stock is bullish so if the 1200 resistance breaks so next resistance we can find at somewhere 1300 so 1300 is the price uh, you can keep as a target for the given month and you can hold it as you can see in the strategy which we made okay Sorry, let's just. As you can see in this strategy, your break even is also identified to you. So, if your price is closing above the break even, eventually you'll make the profit. So, these strategies are very simple and very clear to you that. If it's above the break even, you can make profit. You're having a 52% uh, chances of profit. So that is a percentage of profit. So there's a 52% chances that you can make profit. So if your direction is correct, you can make money out of this strategy. So this way, you can identify the rollover data first and you can identify the trend of the particular stock. And then you can basically create strategies on the monthly basis, right? So I hope you understood the concept. Thank you so much guys for watching and if you want to understand more, you can join our channel and you can follow us for more videos. Thank you so much.